Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Mall with Swimming Pool Science. Just stopping at one of my neighborhood pools to check on, on my customer's pool to make sure everything's dialed in. Had a little trouble with the cleaner, but while I was here, I wanted to touch on a couple things having to do with chlorine as we come into the warmer months here. It's important to really check that water chemistry because as we know, we've got to use chlorine in the water. That's our main sanitizing agent, uh, with the exception maybe we use a little bit of bromine um, on our covered spas or indoor pools and things like that. But I know here in the southwest and in most places it's chlorine. Now, a couple things you have to remember about chlorine. You can have enough in the pool, or according to parameters, it says there's plenty of chlorine to keep the pool blue, but your pool might still be getting a little bit of algae. Here are a couple reasons why. Number one, where is your pH at? The higher the pH, the less effective the chlorine. And at, in fact, at an 8.0 pH, only about 24% of your chlorine is actually working to disinfect the pool. All the way down at a 7.0 pH, it's a more right around 65%. So it's a pretty big swing. Um, we want to keep it right there in the middle, but keep in mind, if you've got an issue with your pool or you've got algae, you're going to want to drop that pH just a little bit to get that chlorine working just a little bit harder. Another thing we worry about, especially here in Arizona, we have high evaporation rates, we've got chlorine consumption through the roof, especially in the summer months, is the buildup of cyanuric acid, also known as stabilizer or um, what else do they call it? Conditioner. I always call it stabilizer. Uh, we have to keep our chlorine within about 10% of whatever that stabilizer level is. Now, in normal ranges is between 30 and 50 parts per million. That's a little tough to do here in Arizona. It usually creeps up a little bit higher than that, but keep in mind, as that climbs up 100 parts per million, 150 parts per million, 200 parts per million, now all of a sudden you're having to keep your chlorine up at 20 parts per million because when the stabilizer is that much higher than the chlorine, above 10%, it's like taking that chlorine and hog tying it to a chair. It just can't get out and disinfect. So, um, unfortunately, the only way to reduce that cyanuric acid is to actually do a partial drain or a full drain on the pool. So that's something you're gonna wanna pay close attention to because I don't know about you, but I'd rather be swimming in fresh water rather than chemical soup. Now keep in mind, your chlorine tablets, your three inch trichlor tablets contain cyanuric acid. So that will build up as you use those tablets. Your uh, dichlor sanitizer also contains it. Now, that's almost 50%. For every 10 parts per million of dichlor sanitizer chlorine you add, you're adding nine parts per million of stabilizer back into the pool. So you can see how over a summer or over a couple years, those stabilizers can build and build and build and build. And all of a sudden you're like, gee, you know, my chlorine is off the charts of my test kit, but I still have algae. Well, guess what? Your chlorine's not high enough to overcome that great amount of stabilizer that's in the water. So it's always important to catch the pool early, especially in the winter months, get that water changed, get it drained or that partial drain before it gets too hot on those plaster pools. And also I wanna talk phosphates lastly, because um, we've seen a huge jump in phosphate uses, especially on our pools. We've got over 200 swimming pools that we take care of. Not a ton of the grand scheme of things, but you know, we're right in the middle. And we've been going through phosphate through the roof. In fact, I was at my father-in-law's house yesterday and he had just drained and changed the water in his pool only about eight weeks ago. His phosphate's already 700 parts per billion. That's way too high. They should be down closer to zero. So here in Phoenix this year, it's, we've had a lot of wind, we've had a lot of crazy weather, lots of debris in the pools. Those phosphate levels have been through the roof. And when you've got high phosphate levels, then that algae is just gonna reproduce faster than the chlorine can kill it. So highly recommend, I don't care what brand you use, find a good one that works and make sure you get those phosphates in check. Make sure you get that pH down where that chlorine can work effectively and make sure that your stabilizer is not too high. And if it is, you need to do either a partial or a full drain. All right, guys, one last thing. I want to thank all 850 of our subscribers. You guys are awesome. I know we got a few viewers in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia. The majority of you guys are here in the United States, and I can't thank you guys enough. So keep on rocking. Keep on liking and sharing our videos. Keep on giving us feedback. I know you guys have been giving me a ton of feedback on my acid wash video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.